Hi everyone, I Shurujit welcome you all on Econometrics Day channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सिक्स का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास टूडे क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स वी आर अगेन गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर टू प्लेइंग विथ नंबर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट टू and today's part is part 6 those who have not watched the previous parts i would like to request them to watch those parts first and then watch this part i have shared the link at the end of the video or you can go and check the playlist and you watch those parts and then watch this part 6 okay so what will happen the concept will be clearer and you can understand the sum and solve the sum more easily okay now till our previous part that is part 5 we solved question number 12 now we will solve question number 13 so question number 13 is very easy only few sums are left 13 14 15 so we will complete that this exercise today only so the first question for question number 13 is what write true or false that means you have to say the statement is true correct or incorrect okay so let us see the sum of an odd number and an even number is always an even so sum if i want to do a rough work sum means addition so sum of what sum of an odd number and even number suppose you take one odd number 3 okay and an even number suppose if you take an even number as 4 so it is coming how much odd and even coming 7 so 7 is what is it is a odd number but it is telling it is always even so that means this is false so what we will write here this one is false you can write only f so this is the answer clear or no false now next one the product of two even numbers is always even so product means what product means multiply product of what two even numbers you take two even numbers so two and you can take six so 2 into 6 suppose how much comes 12 so 12 is also an even number so is always even so this is what true we can say this one is true then the third one the sum of two odd numbers is always odd two odd numbers if you take suppose if you take 7 and sum sum means addition so 7 plus again two odd numbers any odd number you can take 7 plus suppose 9 so how much comes 16 clear no so it is coming 16 is an even number but it is telling that is always odd that means this one is what the answer is false clear so like this way we have to understand and we have to write true or false the product of an even number so product product of an even number even number suppose take 4 okay and an odd number so you take an odd number suppose 3 so it is coming how much 12 is always an odd is it odd no it is an even okay so this is also false so you can see here all the if i make it underline it this is false this is true this is false and this is false so like this way the objectives saying true telling us to find out true or false that also you must do the rough work okay a this is for b this is for c this is for d you must do the rough work you can you must know you must understand the concept also and then after understanding then only write true or false not in andas that false false true 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 false like that way clear or no so i hope question number 13 you have understood nicely now let us come to question number 14 from the given set of numbers some set of numbers are given find prime and composite numbers that means you have to find out the prime numbers and you have to find out the composite numbers okay so from this set of numbers if i can select the prime numbers the rest will be what composite numbers so let us see 50 is a prime number no 51 no because you can divide this one with 2 this one you can divide with 3 also so 52 no 
then 53 is a prime number already i told you prime number are those numbers which have only two factors the number itself and one so 53 has two factors 53 as well as one okay then 54 no 57 no 59 yes 59 is a prime number then after 59 61 is a prime number after that 63 no 65 no 67 yes 67 is a prime number 68 no 69 no 70 no 71 is a prime number 73 is a prime number if you see nicely 59 53 61 67 71 73 these are all prime numbers why they have one as a factor as well as the number itself like 53 53 and 1 then 59 59 and 1 61 61 the number itself and 1 67 also 67 and 1 71 also 71 and 1 73 also 73 and 1 so how we will write we will write answer and what we will write prime numbers so, which are prime numbers? So, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73. Then we will write what? Composite, composite numbers. So, now composite numbers, what we will write? So, which are left over? 50, then 51, then 52, then 54 then 57 then 63 then 65 then 68 then 69 then 70 so these are the composite numbers and these are the prime numbers one more time prime numbers please understand that prime numbers has only two factors the number itself as well as one see if i want to do a rough rough to show you see 53 53 means what 53 into 1 then 59 59 is also 59 into 1 then 61 61 is also 61 into 1 then 67 is also 67 into 1 then 71 is also 71 into 1 then 73 is also 73 into 1 so like this way we express okay the 53 the factors okay and they have what factors only two factors one and the number itself so i hope question number 14 you have understood nicely as well as you have understood the concept of composite numbers and prime numbers okay now students if you like this video if you like my channel then i would like to request all my students to please give a like share this video more and more with your friends classmates and relatives and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all and also don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever i upload such videos you are going to get the notifications first now we will move on to the next question now we will solve the last sum of this exercise 2.2 that is question number 15 find all possible pairs of co primes from the given set of numbers so the given set of numbers are there and you have to find out what pairs of co primes now co primes is what you have to understand co prime what is co prime co prime means two numbers are said to be co-prime if they do not have any common factors other than one so two things must be there there will be no common factors other than or except one only one only one is the common factor and there is no other common factor clear no? that is only called co-prime now how we will write the answer we will write answer and here also we will follow one rule first one number is what 12 so 12 and now we will check whether it is forming co prime or no 
12 and 15 no then 12 and 27 no because they have 3 as a common factor 12 and 36 no 12 and 17 yes 12 and 17 then 12 and 25 yes 12 and 25 clear no then 12 and 32 no 12 and 49 yes 12 and 49 then 12 and 111 so you can see here 111 you can divide it by 3 3 3s are 9 and then 2 left 21 3 7s are 21 that is 37 so 3 factor is there and in 12 also 3 factor is there that is common so 12 and 101 uh, 111 cannot be uh, co prime then 12 and 121 yes 12 and 121 121 means 11 into 11 then next one 12 and 13 yes 12 and 13 so we got with 12 now we will come with 15 so 15 and 27 no then 15 let me draw here one line then 15 and 36 no 15 and 17 yes 15 and 17 clear no then 15 and 25 no because 5 common factor 15 and 32 yes 15 and 32 clear no then 15 and 49 yes 15 and 49 7 7 is a 49 and in 15 there is no 7 factor okay there is no common factor other than 1 then 15 and 111 yes 3 is the common factor 111 will not go then 15 and 20, 121 yes 15 and 121 then 15 and 13 yes 15 and 13 so we got with 15 clear now with 27 so 27 will it go with 36 co prime no then 27 and 17 yes 27 so we are taking 27 27 and what 17 then after that 27 and 25 then 27 and 32 27 and 32 then 27 and 49 27 and 49 then 27 and 111 no 3 is a common factor then 27 and 121 then 27 and 30 clear so now after 27 let us do with 36 so we will see with 36 so 36 and what 17 yes 36 and 17 then 36 and 25 then 36 and 32 no because 2 is coming common factor then 36 and 49 yes then 36 and 111 no 36 and 121 yes then 36 and 13 okay 36 and 30 so we got can you see now after that next 17 will come to 17 so 17 and 25 17 and 25 you have to have little bit patience in doing these sums okay then 17 and 32 yes 17 and 32 serially it would go then 17 and 49 49 clear no then 17 and 111 yes 17 and 111 then 17 and 121 17 and 121 121 means what uh, 121 means 11 into 11 is 121 then 17 and 13 okay so we got okay now 17 done now we will take what 25 so 25 let us do here 25 and so 25 and 32 yes 25 and 32 then 25 and what 49 then 25 let me take mark 25 and 111 yes 25 and 111 okay then 25 and 121 25 and 121 then 25 and what 13 clear so we got another one 
So 25 done. Now 32. So 32 and 49. 32 and 49. Then 32 and what? 111 you can take. Okay. Then 32 and so 32, 49, 111, then 32 and what? 121. Then 32 and 13. Clear? Now we will draw one line. Now 32 done. Now next 49. So we will do with 49. 49 and 1, 1, 1. Then 49 and 1, 2, 1. Then 49 and 13. So 49 done. So now 1, 1, 1 and 121. Then 1, 1, 1 and 13. So 1, 1, 1 finished. Now last one, this one, 121, 121 and 13. Clear now? So done. Okay. So students, I hope you have understood question number 15. But when you are solving question number 15, you have to follow this order. What is this order? I have shown you. Take 12. 12 will go with uh, 12 and 15 can be prime, co-prime? No. Then 27? No. Then 36? No. Then 12 and 17. Okay. So like this way, you got 12. Then you have to take 15. 15 will go with 27, 36, 17. Yes, with 17. Like this way. Like this way, all the numbers you have to take. Then 27 also, like that way, 27 will go with 36? No. With 17? Yes. See? Then 27 with 25, yes. Then 27 with 32, yes. Then 27 with 49, yes. Oh, yeah, I have written here 42. It will be 49. Okay. So 27 and 49. So then after finishing 27, then 36. Like this way, orderly you have to go. And if you don't do in orderly way, then what will happen? You may do mistake. Clear? So I hope... You have understood. Now it is your duty to practice these sums. All the sums are done. It is your duty to practice these sums again and again. Agar video acha lage, to video ko like, share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega. Milte hain aur ek achhe nai content ke saath. Tab tak ke liye bye bye.